Hello. Hi. <laughs> it has been like two years since I posted here, and I've never done this before. My name is Hannah, or Ferialist. That's my stage name for performing. So yeah, I left about two years ago to go on tour with Caravan Stage Company, uh, who own this huge performance ship. It looks like a big pirate ship. And we do all of our acrobatics from the rigging and put on a whole show. And the show that I was a part of was called Nomadic Tempest. I played a butterfly called See You, and I'll show you some little clips of it because, oh, like, my words aren't going to do it justice. You need to see it for yourself. Just the most incredible spectacle. And everyone watched it from the shore. And it had, like, completely original music and singers in five different languages. Um, and it had a really meaningful message about climate change and we toured all the way down the Puget Sound uh, from all the way through British Columbia in Canada and Washington in the US. And um, so I got to visit so many different cities um, all the way down there, um, like Seattle, Everett, Bellingham in the US and Victoria, Vancouver, Nanaimo, a whole bunch of places in Canada. Um, and oh, like I cannot even begin to describe how crazy and amazing that experience was. And it's gonna happen again uh, in May or potentially in April. I think I'm gonna go in April a little bit early. But um, yeah, so I got home from that last year and I was gone for six months, a little bit more. A little bit more than six months, probably seven months. Um, and then I came home for Christmas and I left again because I got a bursary from the Arts Council in Northern Ireland to go to Mexico, Guadalajara, Mexico, for six months. So that's where I spent most of this year. Um, I got back mid-July and then I went to Barcelona for a while for some more training. And now I'm home. Um... <laughs> And I'm going to be home for like three and a half or four months. So yeah, I'm using this time to work on my Spanish and train every single day that I can, get into the best shape that I've possibly been in. Um, I have a whole bunch of arty stuff I want to work on. I'm starting my own little business. Um, but yeah, I feel like while I'm here, I need I need some something else's because there's not a lot happening compared to what I've become used to. And I feel like maybe this could be one of my something else's. Because I used to enjoy this. Ooh. Damn. Mexico was the craziest experience. It's unlike anywhere and anything I've ever seen before. It's so different from anywhere I've seen before. Uh, although, <laughs> Mexico wasn't very kind to me. I got really sick, like, a lot. I've never experienced being that ill before. Apparently it's normal for Europeans. It's some sort of curse or something. <sighs> but also it's just like, obviously it's far away, so it's different bacteria and I'm not used to it. Well, I hope I'm used to it now. So whenever I return one day, Hopefully I won't get sick. <laughs> I'm working on my Spanish at the moment. I'm, I mean, I can say that I can speak Spanish. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can say that more, but it's not great. I mean, I don't really know my tenses. I'm working on it. So hopefully by the time I go back, I will be speaking fluent Spanish and I'm gonna be working on that for these three and a half to four months intensely as I can. These next three and a half months, I don't have much going on apart from just like working to save up for the next chapter and studying my Spanish, which is also preparing for the next chapter and training, which is also for the next chapter. So basically everything I'm doing for these next three and a half months is in preparation for what's happening later. And 
And I don't want to live in that mindset of my time right now is for the future. I'm hoping to go to Costa Rica in March, at the start of March. And then I'll spend potentially all of March and half of April in Costa Rica and then go back to Vancouver to the ship, the MRZ. Production for the next show starts at the start of May, so we'll all be going back for that. And we'll be touring just in British Columbia this time. Unfortunately, we're not going back to the United States. Um, but we will be performing in Vancouver and Vancou uh, in Vancouver and Victoria and a bunch of other places for five months. So I'll be in British Columbia, Canada for almost six months, maybe more, maybe more than six months if I can. And then I've no idea where I'll go. So I want to start making some little videos again. Kind of different from last time. I mean, those videos weren't the best quality. Even though, I mean, right now I'm filming on the front camera of my phone and it actually looks really good, but I'm watching it on my phone, so I don't really know. But anyway, last time I was using a really good camera, but clearly I didn't know how to use it because that footage is not, <laughs> it's not good quality at all. But yeah, I want to make some cute little Christmassy food items like a gingerbread house. Oh, I want to make a gingerbread house and a real gingerbread house. And some little like Christmas food items and little cute things. They'll mostly be just like individual miniature items. I'm not renovating a dollhouse anymore. I got really sick of that. And every time I made something that I wasn't 100% happy with, I was just kind of like, this whole dollhouse is ruined and I want to start again. So I had three dollhouses. I sold one. I still have the other two, but they're both in storage in my parents' house because since I'm nomadic, I don't actually have a base myself, so all my stuff is just in storage at my parents' place. My only consistent home at this point is my backpack. And if you told me that was going to be my life, like, 10 years ago, there's no way I would have believed you. I would not have... I don't think I would have wanted that for myself. Like, it's scary. <laughs> but now that I do it, it's the only way that I could live. I mean, I do want to settle down one day, but... I don't know where in the world. Whenever I was in Mexico, I kind of had a plan of what was happening next and um, some plans of starting a performance company and some travel and settling down, but, but it didn't work out that way. I don't know what's gonna happen in the future and I've become okay with that. In fact, I think in general, I would be kind of freaked out if I did know exactly what's going to happen in the future. But yeah, I am still going to be making some miniature videos. Some videos like this, probably not in my car. Some little cooking things, I think would be really cute. Some little crafty things. And show you some of the really pretty places in my country. Because there are a lot. They filmed a lot of Game of Thrones here. I always saw like the tour buses from Game of Thrones going all around my town and surrounding areas. You can see like the mountains and stuff. I think that's where they put Winterfell. So pretty. And I don't know, there's a lot of things that I really like to talk about and make little videos about. I don't know, I've got a little list of things that I think would be fun. Most of all, I just really want to be comfortable with talking to a camera before I go back in the next tour and I can film the whole thing and show you because it's going to be the last tour of its kind. It's going to evolve. It's going to be different after this one. Thank you. Bye.